Ayan, nakapag-pack na ako, guys. Hi everyone, Ray here. On this video, we are gonna go free diving. It's my first time to try this out. I tried scuba diving before a long time ago, way back in high school, and I loved the experience. What I loved the most was seeing the reefs and sea creatures. My scuba diving before was at Anilao, Batangas. And right now, we are going free diving at Mabini, Batangas. Correction lang guys, akala ko Mabini and Anilao are different municipalities because yun yung sabi nila. But then creating this video, I just realized na si Anilao pala is within Mabini. So Mabini is a first class municipality sa Batangas and Anilao is one of the barangays. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pero yun yung pagkaintindi ko based on my own research na. Matagal na namin na plano ng friend ko. And finally, we are gonna push through with it. Actually, we were supposed to go last July 8th. But then, I got sick. So, I had the flu. So, medyo may sipon pa ako nun. And you can't go free diving or scuba diving if you have colds. Because mahirapan tayo mag-equalize underwater. Okay, so we, we had to postpone it and we are moving it this weekend. Actually, meron typhoon ngayon here up north. So far, medyo tumila naman na yung ulan. But at least in Batangas, okay naman daw yung weather. So it looks like we're going to push through. The plan is that we're gonna go to Manila tomorrow. And then Friday early morning, kasabay kami sa carpool going to the resort. FYI lang, I am a swimmer, but free diving is open also to non-swimmers. We availed our service from Free Dive Tribe PH. Nakita ko lang sila sa Facebook and based on reviews, mukhang okay naman sila and budget-friendly. Kaya yun yung pinili namin. It's our first time to go free diving. So what we got is the package A, Introduction to Free Diving. Two days, one night package siya. And it includes one hour theory equalization workshop, three practice dives, two days gear rentals, one yoga session, two days one night shared accommodation of your choice, full board meals, free use of mat and shala on the yoga area, kasi may kasamang yoga, free underwater pictures, and videos. And a certificate of participation. So we have two options, either yung beachfront headquarters or the tribe kubo with loft. Since dalawa lang kami pupunta, so we chose the tribe kubo. But that's good for four. Since dalawa lang kami ng friend ko, may dalawa pa kami makakasama daw. Alright, which is okay naman with us. The fan room that we're gonna get, by the way, is 3,200 pesos per pax, all in na siya. So it includes everything dun sa package. Instagrammable kubo hut glamping style and a few meters away from the beach. I'm curious to see what this actually looks like and super excited ako. Regarding the transportation, meron silang third-party carpool service from Manila to Batangas and vice versa. So, pipili ka ng location kung saan ka pipik apen and did the drop off. But of course, you have the option to go directly to the resort. So, let's go! And then when we arrived at Manila, we met up with the fam and kumain muna kami dito sa The Alley Vikings. Hello! Hello everyone! This is coffee. And there's a lot of After eating, we rest. Na kami. And then the plan was 3 a.m. the next day, we meet namin yung carpool. But then, to cut the long story short, hindi kami natuloy dahil akala namin malakas ang bagyo doon. But we decided to go din lang kinabukasan kasi nag-improve naman yung weather. 
and non-refundable na din pala yung room and hindi namin maka-cancel. Hindi kami nakasabay sa carpool, so we drove there instead. Kaya special thanks to my mom and brother for their time na ihatid kami and naging road trip din naman nila sa Batangas. Papa wasn't there kasi after namin kumain, bumiyahe din sila. Ito o, oh, free time drive. Free time drive. Nung dumating kami, ito yung nadatna namin. It seemed empty. Late na kasi kami dumating. We arrived around lunch, kaya Yeah, they're actually coming to check in. This is how our room looks like. Supposedly, apat kami dito, pero buti na lang, medyo madami din nag-cancel. And dalawa na lang kami ni Mika. Which is a good thing, kasi medyo masikip din. And mas comfortable naman kung nakakagalaw kami na kami lang. Disadvantage lang is walang lock tong room na to from the outside. Kaya I don't suggest na dalhin yung mga laptops nyo. Ideally and usually sa iba kung mga shared rooms na ganito, may kanya-kanyang locker or storage area bawat tao. But dito wala. Ito yung lunch namin nakasama sa package. Wala kaming choices sa lunch, so kung meron kang allergies, I recommend to tell them in advance kasi hindi mo malalaman beforehand kung ano yung isiserve nila. On our way to the beach! Para mag-free So, solo namin kasi na-late kami dumating. And then, ang sinadjust ni ate is that we eat lunch first. Tapos, baba na kami kasi kung hindi, aakit ulit kami just to eat lunch. Tapos, baba ba ulit. Oh, it's a good time and effort. I didn't expect that it was a bit far from the beach. Our cubo from the beach. According to the sinend, it's a few meters away from the beach. But it's still around 200 meters away. Siya. So it's a bit far from the beach. And it's kind of steep. So I suggest if you want to walk, you can just use the other room option. But it's okay for this location for us because we want to walk. And we are here at the main headquarters. This is our coach, Coach AJ. So dito tuturuan niya muna kami drive briefing namin. Kasi we missed yung kaninang umaga with the group. Hi! Coach AJ! For <laughs> and kakatapos lang namin ng pahinga dito sa kunting kubo namin. It's so nice because it's solo namin yung kubo. Now we're on our way back to the diving area and mag free dive na kami yung first, pinaka first namin na dive. Wish us luck. During the dry briefing, ang tinuros kami ni Coach is how to hold our breath for a long period of time. Nagawa namin ng around two minutes and also how to equalize. So. Ito yung application. Itong diving spot namin is around 100 to 150 meters from the shoreline. Pero the depth is 9.5 meters. Today, ang narating lang namin is around 5 to 6 meters. Which is not bad for first-timers according to Coach. Kaya achievement na din. Medyo nahirapan lang ako with the waves kasi... Ngayong season na to, medyo malakas yung waves and nahilo ako. Mabilis ang mahilo. Pero, nakadami naman ako ng dives. And, kaya hindi kami nakakalalim is because nahirapan kami sa pag-equalize. It really hurts din kasi sa tenga and on the head. Kaya, we need more practice. But overall, it was a fun experience. Two hours yung first dive namin. Dive namin, first free dive. I'm stressing before we go shower. Then you view now. Dinner. Kami sa ano? Socials from the camp to the socials area. Nung gabi, we went down to the headquarters and naki socialize. Welcome to Tribe and Coach Jason. The coaches were so friendly and accommodating. Sila yung mga kasama namin on the table. And masaya kasi we had a lot of 
kwentuhan and bondings and we learned a lot. Why free diving? By the way, ang disadvantage lang if you stay in the rooms by the headquarters is ayan, medyo maingay. Especially during week and nights kasi socials. So, if you want a more peaceful night, I suggest stay dun sa camp area. But then again, mas malayo siya sa beach. Guys, sobrang thank you dahil natuloy ni kayo dito sa tribe. The next day, this is breakfast. Good morning. We just finished eating breakfast. At around 7.30, we're gonna go do yoga. And then 9 a.m. will be our last free diving session. Now, we will prepare kami for free diving on it. I wish us luck. Yeah. Sana maka equalize ka sa mga anos. Kasi kahapon, medyo nahirapan lang sa pag-equalize. Although, naabot naman namin yung 5 meters. Ibibit namin yun, yun yung goal. Okay, that's the goal. That's the goal. Day 2 of free diving and our second immersion. So again, start with line diving. Tapos after nito, duck dive. Unfortunately, around 5 to 6 meters pa rin yung naabutan namin. Kaya, looking forward to coming back para mas ma-practice yung depth namin and equalization. By the way, kailangan nyo din magdala ng socks. Ginagamit siya sa fins. Si Mika, wala siyang socks kasi saktong-sakto lang yung paa niya dun sa fins. But then, ako, kahit smallest size, medyo may space pa kaya I wore socks. But I suggest na mag-socks pa din kayo kasi since this is a diving spot, near the shore is madami ng corals and mabato. So, it could get slippery and it could hurt your feet. Kaya, I suggest just bring your socks. For lunch. After our last free diving session, we ate our lunch and then sumabay na kami sa carpool going back to Manila. The carpool, by the way, was 600 pesos per person per way. So, kung nang carpool kayo from Manila to Batangas and vice versa, total 1,200 yung transport. Kakababa lang namin from the carpool from Batangas to Quick, quick. 